Hi Chapel Hill family, we are in week three of our devotional series called Journey with Jesus, which is seeking to prepare our hearts for Holy Week and Easter. In week one, Cody shared with us about Jesus overcoming the enemy's temptations in the wilderness, and he challenged us to fast as a way of identifying with Christ instead of the ways of our flesh. Last week, Josh shared an encouragement with us from Philippians 3, and he challenged us to pray for our five or the people in our lives who don't know Christ yet. Today, we are going to look at Psalm 63, which is a psalm that King David wrote when he was in the desert of Judah. So in this situation, not only was he hungry and thirsty for food and drink, but he is even more hungry and thirsty for the presence and word of God. So with all that in mind, hear now the word of the Lord. You, God, are my God. Earnestly I seek you. I thirst for you. My whole being longs for you in a dry and parched land where there is no water. I have seen you in the sanctuary and beheld your power and your glory. Because your love is better than life, my lips will glorify you. I will praise you as long as I live, and in your name I will lift up my hands. I will be fully satisfied as with the richest of foods, with singing lips my mouth will praise you. On my bed I remember you, I think of you through the watches of the night. Because you are my help, I sing in the shadow of your wings, I cling to you, your right hand. So in light of journeying with Jesus toward the cross, this passage parallels the complete dependence and surrender and trust that Jesus had on the Father leading up to his death. Like the psalmist, Jesus sought the Father earnestly, or with his whole being. And it makes me think of when Jesus was in the garden the night before his death, and how he fell with his face to the ground and was sweating what scripture says were like drops of blood. Jesus was facing unimaginable physical and spiritual demands, and yet he said to the Father, not my will, but yours be done. We see here that Jesus' response, it demonstrates how he believed what the psalmist said in Psalm 63, that God's love is better than life that God alone could fully satisfy him, and that God's right hand would uphold him. Jesus knew God's word. It's clear that he knew the Psalms as well, and he trusted in God's promise to sustain him even in his time of anguish and turmoil. So church, how much more do we need to know and cling to the promises of God's word when we face uncertainty or hardship? So, the challenge for you this week is to meditate. Meditate on the promises of God's word like Jesus did, so that we would find our fulfillment and strength in him and not the things of this world. However, the paradox of all this is that the more we fill ourselves with God and are satisfied with him and his word, the more we will actually hunger and thirst for him. We won't be able to get enough of him. But the more we desire our God, the less we will desire the sinful cravings that we have. To help fill you with God's word this week, we are going to provide three scriptures for you to meditate on. We encourage you to choose one each day over the next three days and read and reread it slowly for five minutes at a time. As you do this each day, God will begin reorienting your desires so that you would hunger and thirst more and more for him. 